I know, but you got a question? You got a question? Do you know how to, uh, do you know, you know, how to celebrate Christmas? Then we're going over. Do you celebrate Christmas? Come, come talk to me real quick. Just a minute, come on, one minute. I'm going to show you, that said the law that we don't supposed to celebrate Christmas. We don't supposed to celebrate Christmas. I'm going to get that for you right now. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 2. Thus said the Lord. Thus said who? Thus said the Lord. Huh? Learn not the way of the heathen. And be oh, yeah. verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Huh? Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Did you know you was the Israelites according to the Bible? You know you was Israel according to the Bible? Yeah. What tribe? Look, look at this side right here. Because you got to teach this to your kids too. This is what uh, the God called us on this side, and this is what the uh, so-called white man called us. African black. That what you with? You from the tribe of Judah. So these, this right here, Jeremiah 10 to 1, going to the Israelite, nothing but the so-called blacks and Spanish Native American. These are the laws. The, all, God gave us all the laws, the so-called blacks and Spanish Native American. Right. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 2. Uh -huh. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heat, learn not the way of the other nations. The other nations is so-called white man, Moab, the Chinese and all that. Don't learn their custom. Read. And be not dismayed at the size of heaven. Don't be made at the size of heaven like your birthday month, like what, a Taurus and stuff like that. We don't probably study them things. Don't, don't do that. Thus says the Lord. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the other nation, they are dismayed. Oh, yeah. They got scopes. What are they called? Telescopes. Horoscopes. Telescopes. Horoscopes. They go see like the stars and stuff and study them. You don't do that. Thus says the Lord. Read. Right? For the custom of the people are vain. They vain, okay. For one cut yeah. the tree out of the forest. Okay, one cut. Go to the forest. They cut down the tree. Picture in your head. They cut down the tree. Read. Right? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Uh -huh, with the axe. They cut down the tree with the axe. Read. Right? They deck it with silver and with gold. They deck it with silver and with gold. What that sound like? They cut a tree with an axe. Take it in their house and they decorate with silver and with gold. What that sound like? Did you what custom that sound like? What it is. Huh? What it is. Christmas. Don't you all cut down the Christmas tree and you all go throw the little things up there? Silver and gold? The silver and gold ribbons. Read it again. We'll start from the top. Not the top, but all verse 4. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 4. They dig it with silver. Oh, verse 3. Verse 3. For the custom of the people are vain. The custom of the people are vain. For one, cutting a tree out of the forest. Cutting a tree out of the forest, right? Mention a, a tree. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Uh -huh, they cut it with the axe, read. They dig it with silver and with gold. They take the tree and dig it with silver and with gold. Right. All praise and make it a Christmas tree. You understand, brother? You understand? Brother right here. You understand? Okay, all praise. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. Uh -huh. That it move not. They fasten with nails and with hammers. You know the old Christmas tree, like they, the real Christmas tree. You gotta fasten with nails and with hammer for it won't move. Right? They talking about the Christmas tree. And what it said in verse two? Read verse two. Verse two. Thus said the Lord, huh? learn not the way of the heathen. He said, don't do that thing. Most high God said, don't learn that custom. That custom, that's not going to put you to death. Right. So why, this is Jeremiah, and Christ ain't been born yet. So it ain't the birth of Christ. Right. This is a heathen custom. Right. So don't celebrate on um, Christmas. So do you know why that you like in the lower state now? Do you know you've been cursed? Uh, you've been cursed. Uh, huh? Give me Deuteronomy 28 15. Give me Deuteronomy 28 15. You've been cursed, brother. By who? The Most High God. That's right. Because we broke his commandments. Right. That's why we're in the lower state. But the prophets out here wearing purple, we're going to wake up our people because we love our people. Right. We got to come out from among them and start keeping God's commandments. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curse is a good or bad thing, a curse. Bad. It'd be good or bad. Huh. Depends on what it is. Depends on what a curse is a bad thing, brother. Right. If I curse you, what if I curse you out? Right? You gonna feel good? Uh -huh. If I curse you out, right? you gonna feel good? Check it out. I'm gonna look at you like you're crazy. That, 
Thirst is a good thing or a bad thing? Depends on how you thirsty. Thirst is a bad thing, brother. Read, give me verse 16, watch. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Okay, God said cursed, you're going to be in the city. How do we curse in the city? The so-called black, the so-called blacks in Spanish. Getting gunned down by the police officers. Right. The white police, and get off of scot free. Right. Oh, right? That's a curse. Hey, brother, come around here. Brother, come around here. You ask me the question. Come around here. But yeah, curse is all uh, you've been to see. And now, um, hold on for the answer. I'll, answer. I'll show them who you are according to the Bible. How we up under the curses, right? Yeah. So, brother, curse being getting shot down by the police officers and they get off scot free. Curse is um, um, being on Section 8 houses, food stamps. Right. That's a curse. How does curse? How does curse? But people, we supposed to be on top. Get, you know how does curse? Give me 28 and 1. Watch. I'm going to show you. Give me 28 and 1. Oh, that's it. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you do what the Lord says, read. To observe and do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee high above all nations. He said, we listen, he do his commandments, we're going to be high above all nations. Is a nation is real high on other nations. And we higher than them now. High. Okay? This is a curse. Give me all. Um, yeah, go back to that real quick. Hey, on the go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. All right, because the soldier asked you plainly, was a curse, I'm good or bad? All right, bro, I'm David, by the way. Uh, what's your name? Justin. I'm a Justin. All right, and what we are here doing is actually showing our people the truth about who you are right. and on where we come from. Because uh, we've been lied to, Justin, over and over again. On read that scripture again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken. All right, Justin, God said, if you don't listen, Justin, listen to me. God said, if you don't listen, Israelites, he chose us out of everybody. He don't love everybody. He loves you. And he gave you on the way to live your life. And he said, man, if you don't listen, me, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. All his what? All his commandments. He gave you commandments to live by Justin. He gave our people laws to keep. And he said, if you don't keep them, something's gonna happen. Read. And his statutes, which I commanded this day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So my brother Justin, a curse is a bad thing. Because uh, when you read up in the verse, you ain't listening to God. You ain't hearkening to the word. So he cursed you. All right, uh, so that's, I'm saying a curse, it ain't good. It can't be good if you ain't listen, and then you get something from it. So I mean, what are you going to get from it? Read 16. Verse 16. Curse shall not be in the city, and curse shall not be in the field. All right, just a quick question. The second part of that, read the second part. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed in the field. All right, now think about the state of your people. All right, when was we cursed in the field, Justin? When? Think, brother. I know you went to school, brother. You're smart, man. I can look at you and tell you you're smart. I don't know. Have you ever heard about slavery? All right, on what fields were we cursed in in slavery, Justin? The cotton fields right. and the sugar cane fields. I'm going to read that part again. And, oh, the curse in the field? A curse shall thou be in the field. I want to read the top part. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. In Justin, in the city of Tallahassee alone. All right, the good part of the city. Um, who lives there, Justin? In the good parts of the city. White folks. He said it. White folks. Uh, where do your people live at? And on the Tallahassee? In the hood. And we think that God is praying that when he says, I'm going to curse you. Uh, read it again. Curse shall thou be in the city. And curse in the city. Any city, Justin. Any city that you go to, Orlando, Miami, Chicago, New York. 
Hey. And you go to the hood, you gonna see I'm crackheads, hoes and prostitutes. I'm sodomites. I'm killers, just in murderers. I'm brothers that hate each other. Now, one second, brother. Hold on, hold on, brother. One second. I got one more scripture for you to teach her. All right, I want you to teach your niece. All right, oh, when she grows up, she can't be like all these dots out here. She can't aspire to be a busted baby. She's a princess of the power of God. She's an Israelite. All right, now give me Deuteronomy 6 and 1. Now give me Deuteronomy 6 and 1. It is high time, all you so-called blacks out here, you need to start to teach your children correctly according to the word of God. And, and what are we going to teach them? We gonna teach them the laws. Right. We gonna teach them how to govern themselves. I right. read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter six and verse one. Now well, these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord, your God, commanded to teach you. I right, read it again from the top. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments. Now these are the commandments. They are the same ones in Deuteronomy 28, where God said, "If you break them, I'm gonna curse you." These are the same exact commandments he's going to give you to teach um, to the little ones. Uh, read on. Which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, that you might do them in the land where you go to possess it. That wherever your foot goes, you're going to be in rulership. You're going to be in the top. You are, hey, 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 you a king, bro. Right. You don't even see yourself like that. All right? If I ask you what your nationality is, if I ask anybody out here what your nationality is, I'm black, I'm evil, I'm ugly, because uh, that's what black stands for. When you say black, I'm evil, I'm ugly, I ain't no good, or, 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 or I'm an African-American. I'm two different continents, really, Justin? Is that where you come from? Two different continents? Now God said that you're Israel. I got to jump down to seven. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thy sinners in thy home. All right, and what are we talking about? Are the laws of God, Justin. You are supposed to teach them diligently to our, our kids. What up? All right, and when you have kids, you teach them diligently. Hey, yo, come here, brother. Hey, bro, come here real quick. You, on, come here. Hey, Justin, did you get a flyer? Yeah, I got one. All right, come to the school and keep on learning, bro. All right, so we got videos. Hey, your brother, take a second real quick. Hey, on, come here. See, our people don't got time for the word of God. Justin, you better have time for the word of God. I mean, destruction is coming here. I mean, God ain't playing on them. When you see brothers on the corner like this, and we, you know, we got the Bible open, I mean, something going on in the earth. And you better wake up to it. All right, Justin? Hey, on, what's your question? Hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. I'm going to speak first. Okay. Right, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because okay. right, we dealt with you, brother, over and over again. Hold on, brother. Right, hold your peace. Hold your peace. I went back. Order, brother, order. Hold your peace. Let's see what happened. I went hold back. Hold on. Listen, hold on. Listen. I know you did. I can look at you and tell that you've been in some wickedness like that. And, and um, but read that scripture. Hold on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Read. And now, Israel. What do the Lord thy God require of thee? You know you're Israel. You know what tribe you come from. What tribe you come from? Uh, huh? You already know, huh? You already know. So on what does God require of you? What, what, no, I'm gonna jump down to 13. I don't want to come. Verse 13. Before. To keep the commandment. To what? To keep the commandments. You know that you're supposed to keep the commandments. And then you talk about, I'm coming Luke war? I am. Huh? Because, because I'm not doing what I should be doing right now. And I don't want to come Luke war. If I'm going to sin, I'm going to sin. But, now, I didn't nah, mean, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to say that. I'm like you, you said it exactly like that, bro. It is in the hearts of our people. How the Christianity has destroyed us as a nation of people. Because we should feel, I got to get myself together first, and then I'm going to come around the people. You are supposed to come around the people and get yourself together with them. All of us is out here, all of us is getting ourselves together, bro. You ain't the only one. I mean, we ain't perfect yet. 
Oh, no, he's back. The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Is what? Is death. You said, I might as well stay in my sin. So, you are asking God to kill me. Now, give me Hebrews on the 1025. Bring it up. <laughs> All right. Well, I got to go take this order and then Bro. I'll be right back. Bro. I know I'm working on the Sabbath, but. And you're working on the Sabbath day. I um, how long, you simple ones, will you be simple? Oh, read that scripture for the brother. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Not for second, the assembly of ourselves together. Hey, I'm a little man. You supposed to come to the school. You supposed to be around the other little children and get taught on God's laws. You were supposed to grow up and become a man of God and actually keep his commandments, all right? So do Hey. Hey. Hey, brother, watch me, brother. Hey, on to be careful with that following of his example. All right, on to follow righteous men of God who actually keep the commandments, brother. All right? I want to read that again. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. Read. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as you see the day approaching. And the day is approaching fast. And on what day is that? Um, give me first Peter. Bring it up. Yep. Is it first Peter or on the second Peter? I mean three and ten. I mean, read that on what day is fastly approaching you so-called black man and Hispanic man. You are not going to be here for eternity. Right. Israel is waking up to who we are. We are taking our place back. We are the rulers of this world. Right. And if you don't like it, Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, he's coming to put you to death. Second right. Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. It's going to catch you off guard. You ain't going to have time. I got to get myself together. And then I'm going to go to the Sabbath day. You better get yourself to the Sabbath every week. So the day is coming to read. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Boom. Boom. You are going to be caught off guard by I'm bombs right. in your lap. Because right, you're not going to take the prophets of God I'm seriously when they come to the streets and actually try to teach you what you got to do. That destruction is coming. Read. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the elements are going to melt away I mean, with fervent heat. What can do that? What can do that? Except for a bomb. Read. The earth also and the worst that are therein shall be burnt up. Everything around you is going to be burnt. Um, so when you care about your car more than serving the Lord, or you care about your job on the more than serving the Lord, or you care about, I got to get money, I got to do a car wash on the Sabbath day more than the Lord, you're going to die. Uh, give me Proverbs 1 and 20. Bring it out. Give me Proverbs 1 and 20. Because uh, wisdom is on this street corner today. It is on Monroe in Tallahassee today. Uh, but where's the people? Uh, but where's the people? I thought we love God. I thought we'd do anything for the most high God. Uh, but will you listen to the prophets of God? I'm um, reading. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom cried without. Wisdom is coming out today. I'm telling you, Tallahassee, all you so-called blacks out there, you ain't black, you're Israel. All you Hispanics out there, you ain't Hispanic, you ain't Spanish. You an Israelite. Wait. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse. Where are we at? In front of McDonald's. At a heavy intersection. Who is the prophets of God? You are looking at them. That's right. Wait. In the openings of the gates, in the city, she uttered her word, saying, Saying, um, what is wisdom going to be saying to you? Is it going to be telling you sweet things? Everybody's washed and saved in the blood of Jesus. All you got to do is say a prayer and sit back, and you're good. What is wisdom going to teach you? Wait. How long, you simple one? I mean, wisdom is coming to correct you. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity?
really, how long are we going to love the simplicity of a Christmas, of an Easter, a Valentine's Day, a birthday, anniversaries? How long? God gave you a whole list of holidays, holy days to do. Yeah, but the white man gave you Christmas or Thanksgiving, so I got to do it. I got to do it. How about the Sabbath day? <laughs> God said to keep the Sabbath day holy. I didn't say it. Are you, are you going to do it? <laughs> I'm ready. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Read. And fools hate knowledge. Only a fool will hate the knowledge of this Bible. You ain't ever seen people go in the Bible and go precept upon precept, line upon line. Right. And that should give you the sense about your life and what you got to do to clean it up. That's right. Read. Turn ye at my reproof. You, hey, you better turn. You better listen up. It's a day coming. It's right in front of your face. You ain't never seen young black men with the Bible actually bringing it to you, right. word for word. Right. Only the prophets of God can do that. And you've been warned. Read. I will pour out my spirit unto you. Oh, God said he's going to pour his spirit out. God said he's going to pour his spirit out. Who got the spirit of God? Only the ones actually keeping the commandments of God. Right. And I will make known my words unto you right. because I have called and ye refuse. Because the purpose of God is set and you don't want to listen, because you refuse, because you want to be rebellious, because you want to do your own thing. Right. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. We are stretching out our hand and don't nobody care god is bringing his words actually i tell you in the streets and don't nobody care wait verse 25 but ye have said it not all my counsel wait. and with none of my reproof wait. i will also laugh at your calamity whoa wait a minute wait a minute um god said what I will also laugh at your calamity. So, now because we want to be in Christianity all our lives and get comfortable with because I want to be a gangbanger, a whoremonger. I don't want to take my sister for a wife. God says, when your calamity cometh, when you find trouble, when you get AIDS or locked up, tell me what you going to do. I will mark when your fear coming. He's gonna laugh at you when the policeman get behind you and you're scared as hell. He gonna laugh on it when that test it come back positive for AIDS. He's gonna laugh on it when you get fired from your job. Yeah, cause you don't want to harken down. Hey. When your fear coming at desolation and your destruction coming as a whirlwind, uh -huh. when distress and anguish come upon you. Then shall they call upon me. Then, and only then, will you turn to the Lord. All right, and when your loved one gets, I'm killed in the street. All right, and when you get financially broke in the hood, and I got nowhere to turn. When trouble hits you, then you're going to turn to the Lord. Right. Then you're going to remember, oh, shoot, man, the prophets of God and purple actually told me trouble was coming. Trouble is coming. That's right. Wait. Then they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. Too late. Too late. You got your chance. Today, you got your chance. Today, on the Sabbath day, you got your chance of repentance. Right. Are you going to take it? I'm ready. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. See? See? See, I people want to do their own thing. I'm going to come to the God on when it suits me. You ain't going to find him then. It's going to be too late. He's going to come as a thief in the night. Right. He told you that. I will drop that. Give me Isaiah 59. Yep. And start at 1. And then come back up, Samson, after this. I'm moving on. <laughs> so our people is in such a low state. You don't think that God hears or sees your on a plate? He is the one that put you in the situation. Right. He sent you over here as a punishment for failing to listen. Right. He understands exactly what you're going through. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59 and verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not short, shortened. 
I'll read it again. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. So God's hand, it ain't short. It can save us. But why would the Most High God save a bunch of niggas and specs, Hispanics and blacks, African Americans? Why would he do that? He called you Israel from jump. He ain't changed your name. He ain't ever changed your name. You always been Israel. And until you repent, he ain't coming back. Wait. That it cannot say. Neither his ear heavy. That it cannot hear. So <laughs> I know, man, a lot of times our people think, I mean, God don't hear what you say, or I'm seeing what you do. He hear and see everything. Us, Crystal man. clear. You ain't playing with nobody. You ain't playing with God. Right. You're playing with yourself. Right. Wait. Right. But your iniquities. But your sins. But your sins, read. But your iniquities have separ separated between you and your God. But your sins have separated us. Your sins have separated you from God. And then if I ask you, do you love God? Yeah! Heck yeah! You're quick to say that. And then God said, keep his commandments. Well, no, whoa. I mean, but your sins have separated you from your God. Hey. And your sins have hid his face from you. That he will not hear. He ain't going to hear you now. Until you repent, until you bethink yourself, I'm not black, I'm not African, not American, you're Israel, until you bethink yourself and repent, read. For your hands are defiled with blood. Because your hands are defiled with blood. Homosexuality is an abomination. You are defiled with blood. Hormonger, adultery is an abomination. You are defiled. I mean, when you break the seventh day, I mean, buying and selling and cooking and cleaning. You are defiled with blood. Read. And your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue has murdered perverseness. Your tongue has muttered perverseness. You have sp I'm spoken lies. Every time a woman puts on a pair of pants, you are a liar. What? Every time a, a, a brother turns Homosexual, you're a liar. And you can't be trusted. Right, right. None calling for justice. No any pleading for truth. Oh, wait a minute. You have my brother up in Sacramento. He just got shot in the streets over oh, 20 times. Again, again a brother got shot there. Again. Bring it out. In your affliction, you will turn to the most high God. That's right. right. So the brother got gunned down. And on the hey. Um, guess what black folks had did in Sacramento? You had colored on your signs and you said no justice or no peace. Right. You've been doing it since the 60s. Right. You've been doing it since MLK. Bring it out. Malcolm X. Right. 2018. Right. And we're doing the same thing. Bring it out. We're doing the same thing. How long you simple ones? You have to keep the commandments of God. Right. If you don't keep the commandments of God, another brother is going to get shot down. Right. Another sister will get hung in the prison houses. Right. Uh, but our people quick to forget. How about Trayvon? Anybody remember Trayvon? No? Anybody care anymore? And the same thing will happen with the brother in Sacramento. Why? Because our people are simple. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.